Are you kidding me? This is legitimate, Mike. This is legitimate? And I don't think he's on the bucket list. But he crossed up Steve Nash last week in a basketball game. And our program director loves him. Well, so what – I mean, I don't know how to handle this because this <laughs> this is, like, out of control big. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the line right now, we have the man who might be one of the three most popular people in the world today. The ladies love him. The youngsters love him. Justin Bieber joins us. Justin, is this really you? It is really me. Now, now you know, Justin – I know my name's not on the list, but, you know, I'm trying to help my man win uh, some Philly season tickets. Oh, man. Justin, who, who is your man that got you to call here? Uh, Tom Boyd. He lives in Philly. His name is what? Tom what? Tom Boyd. Tom he, Boyd. Oh, now, now, how did yeah. you connect with Tom Boyd? Did he just tweet you? No, no, he's my, you know, I know him. He lives in Philly, so um, he's one of my close friends. So he hit me up. He's like, yo, I need you to call in. And I was like, yo. I'll I'll do my best. I know my name's not on the list, but hopefully, you know, hopefully he gets them. Wow, I mean, this is I tell you what, this is <laughs> overwhelming me here. Justin, what what are you doing right now? Are you are you touring right now? What what things do you have up your sleeve? Oh, uh, I'm not touring right now. I'm in LA. I'm working on uh, my Christmas album, and then once I'm done my Christmas album, um, we're starting to work on my next album, which drops um, sometime early next year. Well, uh, listen, uh, good luck to you with that. Uh, I noticed that. Uh, you, you got the hair guy that styled a little differently. You're looking a little more professorial. What's uh, what's the deal with that change? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, my hair, I wanted to cut it off a little bit, you know. Uh, it was getting in my eyes, and it was pretty annoying. So, I was, you know, I wanted to cut it a little shorter. Well, I, I, are, the, are the young ladies um, approving of that or what? Yeah, I mean, I think they, I think they like it, you know. They're, I've, I've been getting positive feedback. <laughs> what, what's, up with, what's up with you and Selena, man? Well, uh, she's on tour right now, but, um, yeah. Is this an official hookup? You know, uh, I'd like to keep, you know, some of my private life to myself, so, you well, know. it's already out there. You know, <laughs> I, a, a dope like me wouldn't exactly, know unless it was already out there. I know. It, it, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but it's just like, you know, um, I don't really like to talk about it. I like to, you know. Yeah, no, I got you. I didn't want to keep it in a kind of a private relationship. But how'd you swing that? I mean, like, we, you know, see Selena, how'd you, it's tough to get that breakthrough line. How did you hook it up? You know, um, I, I was pretty, I was pretty shocked myself. She's very beautiful. Well, well, how would you make the approach? Like, wait, did somebody put you together, or did you go over to her? Or what happened? I mean, we started as friends, like, a, uh, like, yeah, you know, like two years ago. So we've been friends for a long time. So that's, I mean, that's kind of how. So it you started. want, wait, well, let me get this straight. Now, you want these guys, you want to hang in there as friends until you know she gets to know you, and then so you're around, and all of a sudden you you <laughs> go in for the kill. Is that what it was? I mean, I mean, that's pretty, pretty much how it went. No, I was, uh, I had a girlfriend actually when I was, date, when I was, uh, like, you know, when she was my friend. So it wasn't oh. like anything like that at first. All right, now, yeah, the, the, what's the girlfriend doing now? Did you break, did you break her heart over this? Uh, no, I don't, um, I don't think, I don't think so. <laughs> well, it's tough for the girlfriend to compete with Selena. I mean, let's face it. I, mean, Where, I don't what, know. what is she doing right now? Is she on a farm somewhere? Like what? You know, is she Bro, in the, she in the business? About, I mean, I think we should be talking about sports right now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, all right, that's fair enough. Are you a sports fan? I am a sports fan. All right, now, who who's your favorite team? My favorite team, uh, like, I mean, I, I love hockey. I'm from Canada, so I'm, I'm, I love the Toronto Maple Leafs, you know? Well, that's a tough team to like. They haven't won in a it long a, time, bro. It is a tough team, but you know, you know that I'm not joining a bandwagon, you know. Yeah, we're talking to Justin Bieber. In case people are just tuning in, tuning in, you calling us part of our bucket list. You know, I I have half of mine to add you to the bucket list because this is huge that we got you on here. Uh, how yeah, are you? Are, are you a Flyers hater? I'm not being, a being a Toronto hater, make, actually, Maple Leaf guy. I'm not a Flyers hater. I used to be a big fan of Eric Lindros. So I mean, when he was on the team. So I'm not a. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a hater. All right, now you also can play a little hoops, and you were in the yeah. NBA celebrity game. And uh, who did you cross over? Who did you humiliate? Um, well, I crossed over a couple people. Um, I recently played in uh, in Luda's uh, tournament in Atlanta, and I crossed over Chris Paul a few times. But um, in uh, Steve Nash played, too, right? Yeah. Well, we played against Steve Nash in New York. That was pretty fun. All uh right, -huh. and and so what? <laughs> they don't, just don't expect that that kind of Canadian white boy crossover move. No, they don't, they, don't expect it. they don't expect it. But no, uh, it, it's fun to go out there and play with these people and, and have a great time. How long have you been playing basketball? Growing up in Canada, were you a hockey player? 
I was a hockey player. I played hockey my whole life, traveled and all that stuff. But I played basketball just like at school and at the YMCA and stuff. You know, listen, it, you, Justin, you're like a major talent. And, and so, like, I'm curious to know, like, how do you look when you see a show like American Idol? You know, you yeah. were discovered without American Idol. I mean, you were good enough to just, you know, break out. But how do you what do you think about the people who go through the American Idol thing? No, I think that um, some of these people they have no other way, you know, to you know, to break themselves out, you know, into the mainstream world. So they they go on American Idol. So I mean, I respect it. Um, some of the people, you know, you, you end up like, you know, not really caring much about them. But like, I, I respect the, you know, Kelly Clarkson did her thing on it. Um, you know, a lot of people were able to break free. Carrie Underwood's amazing, and so it, it was a good, it was a good, um, a good thing for them. Well, listen, this is a pleasure. Somebody told me you got um, you have a sports themed ringtone. I'm forty. I'm a man. Yeah, you is that is that your ringtone? I'm a man. I'm forty. <laughs> that was my that was my ringtone for a minute. It was uh, when I first heard that. Me and my boys were just laughing. Just <laughs> so what what's what's the ringtone now, Justin? Ringtone? Uh, I don't know. I'm I think a man. It's like, <laughs> no, it's it's definitely not that anymore. I think it's just something regular. All right, so the right. Well, listen. Good luck with the career, and and good luck with Selena, man. And it's hard to have that celebrity relationship. You got all kinds of things tugging at you, pulling at you. You know, you got all these. How does Selena it feel is. about all these all these girls like screaming for you? Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, she's just. Oh, she's... Oh no, we're lost. Oh no, we lost him. Oh well, there you go. Look,